they, so they were like, we're going to start like a little bit late. And I'm like, no, nah, I do a lot of shows for Muslims. Uh, <laughs> I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> for that, it's a little bit late. Um, I think that's why Trump won, is all the Muslims like just now showing up to vote. <laughs> They're like, we should have. It was two months, okay, that was two months ago. Very, very bad. Uh, it's, better, it's better than Christian time, right? There's Muslim time. There's Christian time uh, where you say you're going to be back and then you don't show up for like 2,000 years. Uh, and we're like, no, nah, I'll be back. I'll be back. Jeremy McClellan. I'm uh, from Charleston, South Carolina in the United States. Uh, here in the UK on a I do, tour. Uh, I do a lot of shows for like Muslims and immigrants in the United States. One of the first shows I ever had uh, as a stand-up comedian was for a Muslim charity in, in the South. Uh, they do exist. There are Muslims in the South um, who haven't left yet. And, uh, but they, they live there. And, but I was nervous. I wasn't sure what to expect. And I didn't know what the rules were, right? I didn't know how I was gonna like mess, mess something up. You know, very uh, not sure, you're sort of nervous about doing the show. And they sent me a contract in the mail. And the contract had two rules. Uh, number one, all your material has to be family friendly. And I was like, you know what? I can do that, no problem. I can do family friendly. And they were like, rule number two, you can't do any jokes about the difference between Sunni and Shia. And I was like, again, that is not gonna be a problem <laughs> because I do not know the difference. I think that more the, the, uh, the purpose of comedy uh, is to make people feel like they're not going crazy. Um, you know, to make people feel like, like, uh, like they're not as uh, alienated, um, you know, even though they're being oppressed, even though they're being mistreated or misunderstood. Um, that there is someone who understands them, that is trying to understand them, that is trying to, uh, you know, to address their concerns and, um, and laugh at, at the world and at the ridiculousness of their situation. And I think that no matter what situation you find yourself in, um, comedy can help you do that. It can make you feel less lonely. Um, it can make you feel, uh, yeah, like somebody's trying to understand you. You have Uber here, right? You have Uber in London. I love, I love Uber because uh, Uber is not just a corporation. Uh, Uber is also a sign of peace, right? It's also a sign of religious coexistence because Uber is an app that was invented by a Jew so that when a Christian gets too drunk, he can call a Muslim to come pick him up and take him home. <laughs> this all works out very, very perfectly. And that's what we need to shoot for. There is evidence that like proximity and interacting with people changes your minds about those groups of people. Um, but on the other hand, sometimes people are like, well, I don't like Muslims, I just happen to like every single one I've ever met. And it's like, well, what are the chances that you've just met the ones, yeah. So uh, there's, there's a kind of um, unknown quality to, to, you know, to comedy and to art where you're like, I have no idea uh, if, you know, which of my stuff, which of my material is gonna hit, you know? Like I'll get messages from people, like direct messages who are just like, do not do this. Do not do like a, like a show for care. Like you cannot do this. Uh, you can't trust Muslims. And I'm like, okay, why can't I trust Muslims? And they're like, because they're allowed to lie about whether they're Muslim. <laughs> That's true, people say that, like Takiyah or whatever. They're like, they're allowed to lie about whether they're Muslim. And I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, are you Muslim? <laughs> and they're like, no. I'm like, how do I know? Maybe you're... Yeah, I think especially in, in, in this day and age, you know, opinions and uh, our, you know, peoples are so polarized. A lot of the discussion is so polarizing. And I think it's very, very important, more so now than ever, to inhabit that gray zone of coexistence um, between peoples and to realize that we are, um, we have so much in common and we can interact and we can uh, create art together and create uh, life and, and, and you know, prosperity together and that it doesn't need to be that war, that like civilizational conflict. Um, and uh, I think that that's especially important um, in the, I guess, four years ahead. So thank you very much and have a great night.